Hey guys, what's up? Rocky Davis here, and we will talk about radial gradients today. So this is the continuation to the previous video where I had introduced the concept of linear gradients, and today we will be learning about radial gradients, colors which start off in the radial direction. So there will be a color that will start off from the center, and the end color will be covering the uh, the surface that forms around the circle in the farthest distance. So there will be a transition of the both colors from one end to another. So I'll quickly start off doing it. And as usual, I would recommend you start off and join me on JS Fiddle and work it out. So that this will give you practical experience and that is always better than just sitting and listening. Alright, let's get started. I'll clear this code over here and we will start afresh. So the first thing to do as usual is to create a script element and give the source as the svgjs cdn link and then after that create a division element. I have it over here as gradient ellipse from the last tutorial and let's give it radial as the id in this tutorial. So as usual create a variable called draw which you will be giving uh, which will, in which you will be invoking the svg function give it an argument which is the same name as the id which is radial over here and let us give the size to be 600 comma 600 so for this tutorial let's work on a rectangle so let's say rect is equal to let's call the rectangle as rect1 and let's say draw dot rect give it a size of 50 or let's say 300 comma 200 Alright, so as you can see, we have a black colored rectangle over here, which you can fill it with a color. If if you want to fill it, you can just go ahead and say rec.fill and give it a color, let's say hashtag 45543. So let's see what happens. Alright, so you can see there is a grayish green color over here. The, uh, as usual, as with the linear gradient, we have two parts over here to cover. The first one would be to create the gradient and the second one would be to fill it, fill the rectangle with the gradient. So as usual, let's start off creating the gradient. So let's give the variable called gradient1 or let's say radial, radial, gra radial grad to refer to the radial gradient. And then as usual, you need to pass two arguments. So we will pass two arguments. The first one would be to specify that this is a radial gradient and not a linear one. And second one is as usual from the last video, we create another function and the function will be of the uh, of the variable called uh, let's give it let's uh, give the name as radial limits. So it's a big uh, variable so you can cut it down to whatever you would like to call it. So after that give flower brackets and start off the function. So let's say radial limits. And now we start the at function. At function specifies at what point what exists. So let's say 0, comma. And over here you would fill in with the color. So hex code, let's say 567. And after that, give a semicolon. And then let's say radial limits. And at as usual 1, which is the termination point. And let's say F40. Alright, so this is our gradient. We have created successfully a gradient and we need to apply this gradient back to the rectangle. So all you can do is you can directly uh, use this rect.fill and instead of the color you can say you fill it with the uh, gradient called radial grad. So let's see what happens. Alright, we can see that nothing is happening. That is because the radial grad has been created afterwards. So I'll specify it over here. So as you can see once I have created the gradient and applied to it and put the code after the function which is the function which is uh, invoking the radial grad. So once we have done that we can see that there is a beautiful radial gradient in our rectangle. So that is how we create a radial gradient fast and easy. So one thing you can do always is that you can tweak the values and you can add several other gradients like let's say 0 0.5 we require some of the color let's say hashtag 345 so let's see what happens so as you can see 
we have three colors over here we have a gradient that is crossing three colors so similarly you can work around with many other colors many other stopping points and you can give whatever kinds of points that you would require and also lastly in our in our linear gradients we had something called directions but in this case since it is directed in all directions there is no direction but we have something else which is called radius so radius of a uh, it's not the rectangle radius rectangle radius would give you would give you the smooth smooth and dot corner all right right one dot radius will give you the smooth and dot corners but if you give if you give a radius to the radial grad let us say radius grad dot radial grad dot radius let's give it a value of 0.2 well, as you can see that the gradient has decreased in size that is how you can decrease the size of the radial gradient fast and easy you can even increase its size to let's say 1.5 and let's see what happens so you can see that it has increased in size that means that our orangish color has disappeared that's because it is going out of the rectangle so this is how you can play around with your radial gradients guys so keep playing with it so once I have given the radius as 1, you can see that the orangish color is slightly starting to appear. And if I give it 0, there is nothing. So this is how we can play around with the radial gradient's radius as well as the gradient. So go ahead and start experimenting with various color values. And I have posted a link to the HTML color codes where you can get various HTML colors codes. So that you can use them with, within no time and with no additional burden to you. Alright, this is Rocky D Rays and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.